What's up, narrator? Oh, I'm just kind of sitting here thinking about stuff. What kind of stuff are you thinking about? Why do squirrels have tails? That was not the exact... That, that was not the answer I was expecting. I know, right? But, like, I can't get this question out of my head. Why do squirrels have tails? I mean, we could probably just look it up on the internet. Well, that's true. But what's fun in that? What, really, what's the fun in that? Like, why can't we just sit here and envision a world where squirrels don't have tails? I mean, we can do that. I'm just not... Just not sure. Well, see, horse, if you're gonna say what you're not sure what the point is, then I think you're missing the point. The, I guess. Is this something you do regularly? Do you just sit here and like ponder what the universe would be like if you found animals that didn't have tails? Well, no, sometimes it's like, what would what would ducks be like if they didn't have bills? What would they have instead? Well, see, that's the thing. What would they have instead? That's a good question. Would they have, like, beaks? Or, like, a mouth? Like, oh. Yeah, you see? You're getting it now. Huh. Yeah, because with squirrels, like, they just wouldn't have a tail. There's not really... They just wouldn't have a tail. Yeah, pretty much. The squirrels, they're not... They're not entirely the best example for the quandary that is this question. Okay. What if squirrels had... Hmm. What if they had a little bunny tail? You know, a little, like, poofy tail thing instead of the big bushy tail I mean then it would still be a tail and we're trying to think of what what squirrels would be like if they didn't have a tail well yeah but the only thing I can think of if they didn't have a tail would be no tail because the thought of them having an arm or like some sort of appendage or anything like that is creepy and I don't want to visualize it in my brain yeah, that's kind of where I got stuck to. So it's, it is if they don't have a tail, and we don't want them to just not have a tail, what would go there? I'm really coming up with nothing here. I know, right? It's just, it's just a thing. I mean. It's not like we can put ears back there. I mean, we could, but that just seems weird. It does. Maybe, maybe they'd have. Oh, what? What if they had like an extra place to store things? Cause they, cause, cause they, they, they gather things to take them back to their their place and what if they had an extra spot to put more things when they're out gathering like a bursal sack what's a bursal sack you know it's a bursal sack that doesn't help I know that's why I said it anyway um I mean that's that's it's it's at least something. This is true. It's at least something, and it would fit with the the like design of a squirrel. You know, it's not like completely out of nowhere. I mean, it kind of is, but but still, like there there's thematics there. It's true. There is. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it's a hard question to, to, to like, think about, you know? I mean, essentially we're playing God here. I mean, I think that's saying a bit much. 
Well, but we're rethinking the design of an animal. I mean, like right now, I'm just thinking of playing like Spore or or Evo on the Super Nintendo. Watch Evo on the Super Nintendo. It's a uh, lesser played game where you are essentially a creature evolving and you go through different stages of evolution via different stages and worlds in the game. It's pretty cool, although it gets kind of brutally hard at one point. And I don't think it was terribly well known in the the in the gaming community at the time. Huh. That actually sounds kind of fun. But yeah, no, I I mean, I guess I see your point. Are you playing God? I think that's a, a very grandiose way of putting it, but I mean, that's definitely, you know, kind of what it is. Yeah. I'm going to stop playing God with you, though, um, and I'm going to go get some gummy bears of the cinnamon persuasion. No, I said gummy bears, not cinnamon bears. Why are you still on this? Because cinnamon bears are a distinctly different type of candy from gummy bears. Why do you think you don't have cinnamon bears in mixes of gummy bears and gummy bears in mixes of cinnamon bears? Cinnamon bears come by themselves. They are one unique package. I will once again point out though that they are gummy and they are bears. And they come in maybe not necessarily a variety of colors, but at least a few different colors. Just because they're packaged by themselves doesn't make them less of a gummy bear. You're packaged by yourself, does that make you less of a seahorse? Narrator, I'm a cat. Oh yeah, sorry, name, namesake, all that kind of stuff, you know. If, if you are packaged by yourself, does that make you any less of a cat? I mean, that's a fair point and all, but cinnamon bears are cinnamon bears and gummy bears are gummy bears. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think this conversation has come to a natural end. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, back to uh, back back to the dive bar, and uh, I guess get ready for stream tonight. What's uh, what's going on on stream tonight? The usual. So Yakuza? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Sounds good. I'll um do whatever it is I always do while you're streaming, which is kind of completely random. That works. All right, I was gonna go. I see a horse. What word squirrels have it instead of a tail? This is like a question for the ages. <laughs> 